These tactics and use of force are under national scrutiny again following the death of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols, who was beaten by five police officers in Memphis, Tennessee. Those officers are now charged with murder. Well, here in Montana, the chief of Hardin Police knows all too well what the community of Memphis is going through. Our Jackie Coffin takes us to Hardin to explain. At the helm of the newly formed Hardin Police Station is Chief Donald Babin, but his background in policing is not from Montana. Instead, it stems from Brunswick, Georgia, a small town that gained national attention for the high-profile death of Ahmad Arbery. It's a story that captured national attention. In February 2020, 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery, who was black, was on a run in Brunswick, Georgia, when he was murdered by three white men. Police officers arrived on scene soon after the shooting, but no arrests were made for several months. Now Hardin Police Chief Donald Babin was close by at the time, working for a neighboring police department in Brunswick, and remembers distinctly what happened next. But the community itself, they wanted answers, and they, they weren't getting the answers. I think from the forefront of this incident, the day it happened, there was a lot of things that weren't being said to the public. Rallies and protests sprang up all around the country, many critical of law enforcement. Chief Babin says it's a lesson he took to heart and one that helped shape his approach to policing. And I think we need to tell the citizens, the visitors that we serve, the truth. If there is a critical incident, I think you need to come up up front and tell them. These principles are on his mind following the death of yet another young black man, 29-year-old Tyree Nichols, who was beaten to death by police in Memphis. Horrifying. It being in law enforcement for over 25 years, I was devastated when I seen it. In incidents like these, Babin points to transparency and police leadership, experience he has firsthand. Uh, I have been involved in critical incidents and I can use myself and use my example that if you do it right, you're not gonna have any, uh, any flack. You're not gonna have any violent protest if things are done right. Uh, this incident in Memphis was outrageous. Near the end of his time in Georgia, Babin shot and killed a black suspect who was shooting at him in a foot pursuit. Eventually I was cleared, it was a, uh, it was, a, it was a bad incident that turned out to be justified. An incident forever shaping the way he looks at policing, from Boston to Brunswick to Montana. I can actually sit here and speak personally because of that critical incident, how it affected me, how it affected my career, how it affected my life and the lives of others. But deep down, I was hired to do a job. In Hardin, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.